Hi everybody. Me again. again. Fribble here at the place of plenty, Mumbo Camp, Botswana. Uh, this time around we're going to be sharing a few interesting things about this beautiful wilderness that we stay in. And I just decided to start with something a little more common, especially where we stay. And this particular bush or the bush that you saw uh, is called the Wooly Caper bush. Uh, it is under the caper family and it is quite a predominant uh, bush or a climber, very ferocious, if I might add, type of a climber. And the reason why I say it's a ferocious climber is that it's got these recurved uh, thorns. And if you observe closely, that would be how the thorns look like. They've curved inwards and the leaves sort of just protrude in between them. And it's not common for you to actually see that this particular bush or climber has thorns. And that's why I say it's ferocious, is that if at any point you find yourself stuck in it, getting out is quite difficult. Now I'll illustrate this just with my shirt and my hand and just give you an idea. So if you've ever watched The Gods Must Be Crazy, there's a scene in the movie where, you know, they're out in the bush and the lady happens to be bathing and getting ready and she's hanging her clothes everywhere. And she happens to get stuck in a bush quite similar to this. And what happened in that case is that she found herself backing into the tree and I won't back in, otherwise I might get taken. But what happens is that if you find yourself stuck in it, and I'll just give you a very small illustration. I'm stuck there. For me to get out, most people would usually try and pull and try and pull out. But with a woolly caper, you'd remember, the uh, thorns are recurved. Really so you'd have to almost push yourself back in to try and unhook and comfortably come out. This plant is also very commonly used here in Africa as well as uh, what we call a micro uh, medical plant. So a lot of uh, African or traditional healers use it a lot. Uh, traditionally, the bushmen or some of the nomadic movers around these areas, uh, if they had any bronchial problems, they would actually burn some of the back of this, get the ash and smoke it. So there's also something that, or a plant that they use primarily for herbs. The fruits are not uh, uh, consumed by many animals, uh, but you'll find your vervet monkeys eating it. It's not primarily browsed by many animals either. It's not the most palatable uh, uh, bush. And this is because that in past years or years back, uh, there's been deaths recorded. It's not a type of tree or a plant that I'd recommend to anyone, you know, try it out, you need to do this with it because of the chances of you possibly losing your lives. So while we're on that, folks, is that uh, when we go through all these chats about the bush and the different things that we'll be seeing, I will be highlighting some of the dangers. And it is very important to pay attention to them as it is the bush, it's untamed. Thank you for tuning in and we'll catch you soon for more.